After living in apartments for over a decade, the idea of having a raised garden box that had my own fresh fruits and vegetables that I grew myself just sounded so cool. Now that I finally live in a house, I decided to make my own and I wanted to walk you through how to make one, which I promise is not too hard, what to do to fill it up, and then also some ideas of what to plant in it. Come along with me. So first up is I'm gonna cut four of these one by six cedar um, pieces to five feet, nine inches. And so here we go, 69 inches. And I'm taking my speed square so I know that I have a perfect straight line and just mark that off. Whatever surface you are cutting this on, make sure that it's really clamped on tightly to be extra safe. So I'm just gonna put a couple of clamps. Clamps are the best. You're always gonna need more than you have. And don't forget your safety here. Next step, I'm gonna cut out 33 inches out of the remaining one by six boards. Don't forget to measure and use your squeeze spare, uh, squeeze spare, speed square, in order to make sure you have a perfect straight line. Now I'm gonna cut these two by twos into one foot length so that they will be our inside corner supports. Okay, so now I'm just gonna measure the width of the board so they know how to drill it in because I'm going to have the other board line up nicely. So I screwed the 2x2 two two directly into the 1x6s to give it support and this distance is so that the additional 33 inch 1x6s can fit perfectly in here. I just want to show you a mistake I made. So you definitely, instead of just drilling right into um, the wood with your screws, it's definitely best to do a, a pre-drill hole, so a little pilot hole first to make sure um, that your wood is ready to get the screw so it doesn't split like this. Okay, so pilot holes just means I made some little holes to start off with before I put in my screw. spot that gets at least six hours of sunlight a day. And now let's fill them. To start, add a layer of landscaping fabric to the bottom to avoid weed sneaking in. The next layers are cardboard with all the stickers and tape removed, sticks, rock, compost, and then pick a soil that's specific for raised garden beds as it needs to be a bit softer. Now let's go pick out the goods. Some ideas of what you could plant. Tomatoes, kale or spinach, broccoli, cucumber, Carrots, peppers, squash, beets, blueberries, raspberries, some herbs, strawberries, and even some flowers would be really nice. Hey, okay, voila! Be proud of yourself and enjoy the fresh produce of this summer. Visit gooseandfin.com for more.